form and stuff. So being supported in that way, I get why um, it's nice. Yeah, Diabe- diabetes is looking for <laughs> his name's not diabetes. It's sushi. <laughs> Japanese well, food. I get yeah. why he's looking for like emotional and physical support because it does kind of feel nice to have people at gym there who are like willing to help you do that stuff. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, this, this person does sound like they're they're struggling with you know loneliness in general in their everyday life. So it's it's mm-hmm. like a but at the same time, the people there probably don't know that and how are they supposed to sort of he's expecting people to just jump at him and be like introduce themselves to him when realistically it sounds like he should maybe be you know putting himself out there to maybe the people at the gym rather than the people that work there absolutely yeah. and he, the one thing he says at the end of the question is like i'm not willing to play jump through hoops and play the social game which is fine mm-hmm. if you don't want to get out of your social comfort but the thing that you want and the thing that you don't want to do are kind of like butting heads here and you're going to have yep. to play the game a little bit and engage with people it life is not like a movie where you're working up by yourself and then all of a sudden people approach you and be like hey i haven't seen you around like that doesn't mm. happen very often you are not the main character so that's not yeah. going to happen you got to put <laughs> yourself out there one thing one thing i i uh, like to live my life by and i, I want to pass this advice on to sushi diabetes is um <laughs> god no you never met a hybrid <laughs> <laughs> is nobody's gonna like if you want something in life like if you want the social life or the social aspect of it you're gonna have to try just that little bit to get there no one's no one's gonna just go out of their way clearly you know now that these people aren't gonna jump out of their way to actually say hey how you going like, that's just not their style so if you want that style you're gonna have to try and find a gym go to a different gym to find a gym that will be like that but if the if you don't want to switch gyms you start the social trend you start the hey uh like can I get a bit of a hand help? Maybe hire the one of them as a personal trainer and talk to them and build a rapport yeah. up. And then and then like all right, then fire them as a PT, but know that they're there. And then you can talk to them. <laughs> like I, I don't know. I don't know what you what the proper etiquette is. I'm not a gym junkie like Marcus, you, Damien. Marcus, basically but- you Marcus, you just pitched like a friend <laughs> prostitute. It's essentially what you're saying. Like pay for yeah. Yeah. pay for someone to be a friend to you is what you said. An emotional yeah. prostitute is basically what you just pitched. Well, what it sounds like he wants it and I feel like if he's not going to jump through those social hoops then pay for it with your wallet like no you're, I you're mean, right no, and, I, and I think he could benefit <laughs> from doing a gym like Tom's where you're kind of forced to engage with other people like you're running a circuit with a bunch of people and it forces yeah. you to engage you know everyone's in it together that's probably the way sure. to do it exactly I feel I like that's that's what you got to find I think that's what Sushi needs to find is if it's not if his current gym is like that if you're not going to go out of your way to talk to these people go to a new gym find a gym that will give you high fives and and <laughs> really that that social encouragement that I'm interaction sure that, that he's that. desiring yeah yeah okay well let, look let's leave it there for Japanese food now Marcus you're up next yes. for this one yeah one of the things that I'm really looking forward to now that it's actually starting to get nice warm weather is having a few bevs with my mates oh yes some like, bevs. that's that's it that, that's all it is go to someone's I don't need to go to a bar or a pub although that'll be nice I just want to sit around with some friends have a beer or two and just relax talk to shit that's what I'm looking forward to so well, okay. bevs with the mates bevs with the mm-hmm. mates and hugs <laughs> hugs with the mates as well. <laughs> H- hugs with the mates hugs with the mates with bevs in hand all right and, and, some, right and some Japanese other- food and some Japanese and some food Jap- don't forget <laughs> of course <laughs> Catered, catered by Mr. Uh, sushi Sushi. By Sushi Look, sh- Sushi Sushi. It's been a long time since I've hugged the Italian god of sex, so, you know. It has <laughs> been a while. Long and yeah. for it. it. has been a while. I'll give you a little reach around. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> Bev's writes in, my friend wants to cut my hair. Should I let her? Mm. My hair is very long. I want to cut it and my best friend said she would do it for me. She is my best friend, so I don't want to say no, but I don't really like people cutting my hair. I trust her and everything. I just don't like people cutting my hair. (laughs) But... I need to cut it because I do <laughs> dancing and it always gets in the way. What should I do? I love my best friend, but I don't know if I want her to do it or not. I think I should let her know. Please help me. Bears with the mates. Look, the people at home cannot see us, obviously, but we are all sporting <laughs> headbands at the moment because it's <laughs> yeah. been a long time since we've had a haircut. Have yeah. you guys considered the the spouse haircut? To, I mean, because it's we've only got who who live with us. So, have you considered yeah. it, or it has it not been on the table? No, it um, has not. I'm no. I'm fine with letting my hair just do its thing and grow out. Um, because like t- technically, I'm not going anywhere. No one's going to see me. Thing is, I'm going to be going back to on site work before the hair salons and 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 barbers and stuff open up. So I might be getting desperate, but I almost feel like a bad haircut is 
probably worse than just overgrown hair. So maybe right. I just like live with the overgrown hair and just and just settle and just settle with that. Um, I have gone down the pathway of getting my spouse to cut my hair. She's actually oh. cut my hair. I don't know if you guys like. Yes, we're all rocking headbands, and I've got like this cute little. Bam, bam, yeah, like top rocking head. To, yeah, top knot at the moment. Yeah, I was but, actually uh, going to say, yeah, your hair looks yeah. like shit. No, joke, yeah, joke, that's a complete joke. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't worry, even commit to that it. joke because I felt so bad. I felt so I'll bad. I'll, I'll, I'll call her in. I'll tell her, hey, babe, come in. Damien has something to tell you. No, um, <laughs> no please. <laughs> no, um, no, she asked, She like, I remember one day she goes, no, your head, you do need a haircut. And I said, yeah. well, there's no hairdressers open. There's no barbers open. I can't do it. I'm like, do you want to do it? She goes, yeah. She's like, she jumped at the opportunity, I feel like. She's wow. like, yeah, all right, I'll do it. All right. I'm like, all right, we'll tie up the top. We won't touch the top. We'll leave the top as long as we can get it. Just trim trim around the sides, back, and, yeah, sides and back with, with clippers. Anyway, I feel like she's done a really good job. I mean, I've had a friend do it before, and it didn't look that bad. So, like, I was like, ah, I trust my partner, so... Look, I know your girlfriend's not a surgeon, but she is a doctor, so I would trust her hands. And be like, these are precision <laughs> hands right here. She knows how to cut people. The best thing, the best thing about it that I found was I said, "Look, if you, if you fuck it up, I'll just shave it all off." Because I've been threatening <laughs> to shave my hair off to her for a l- number of years. Like, I'm like, "Oh, I'll just shave it all off." She goes, "No, I love your hair. Don't do it." So it was more on her. Like, hey, if you stuff it up, I'm gonna shave it off. So, um, can we get can we get a bit of a spin, Marcus? Take the headphones off and just do a little bit of a spin. Want to see how this is all looking? It's just really showed yes. off to the boys. <laughs> he's, he's completely bald on the other side. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Oh yeah, look, it's looking really neat. No, that's great. She did a good job. Because I could do that same thing. I've got my hair tied up like you. I could really just shave the bit of the bulky back part going. Mm-hmm. But at the yeah. same time, like I said, it could go. It could go horribly wrong. Like the guard could fall <laughs> off, and it could just go eat skin bald. I don't want to take that risk. I it's, was so close yeah. to pulling the trigger last week of shaving my head. Like I yeah. was like, just get it all off. I'm sick of the fro. <laughs> Like, I don't want it anymore. I don't want to be Guy Sebastian anymore. Um, <laughs> but Angels brought you here, Damien. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Angels did bring me here, and they're going to take me out of this world as well. But yeah. the thing is, right, like, I was considering doing it, and then I had a Zoom chat the next day with my work, and one of the guys in my team had shaved his head, and I'd be like, I was like, oh, now I don't want to shave my head because everyone's going to yeah. be like, oh, you, you just shaved your head because so-and-so did it. So I'm like, well, yeah. the hair stays now. But Bobby Ray shaved his head, and now you're going to do it, Damien. It's, you, you, you're the Bobby Ray Jr. too. Like, like I, 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 I don't I d- like this. I did not want to be a sheep and get Sean the same way, if you get what <laughs> oh, I yeah. mean. Yeah. Double entendre there. What, um, if, what if you went I, with the mohawk, Damien? Mohawk. Yeah. No hawk. <laughs> <laughs> um... My mm. sister-in-law, I think, um, her uh, fiance had uh, tried to cut his own hair. I think, like, just to trim around the sides, and um, he she ended up needing to come and and sort of fix it for him because I, I don't know about you, but like, there's one thing to get someone else to sort of cut your hair, but I would not trust myself cutting my hair, especially once I go sort of back past my ear. I think I will lose all perspective of what a straight line is, yeah. and I wouldn't just wouldn't know what was going on back there. Dude, my girlfriend actually said to me, she's like, "I want you to cut my hair," and I said, "There is no." <laughs> no. <laughs> goddamn way that I'm bringing scissors to your locks. Like I, yeah. I couldn't. Uh, I'm like, do you know me? Like, I, what do you think? That is that is the exact same conversation I had with my partner. Like word yeah. for word, she's like, oh, Marcus, can you just like you know cut my hair? Like it's getting way too long. I'm like, firstly, we don't have scissors. Like besides kitchen scissors, <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, firstly, we don't even have the right proper tools. But secondly, I'm like, I could never trust myself. What? Then you become yeah. like the, the Barbie that's been like shaved too much from a yeah. two-year-old kid. Like, no, yeah. no way. Right. I said to her, I'm like, clearly you love me too much because there is too much trust that you've put in me. <laughs> like, because I, I, no way, yeah. I can't even cut a piece of paper straight. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, though, I feel like there's less sort of riding on a trim of um, – a woman's haircut trim compared to a men's haircut. Because once once a man cuts their hair, it's like it's pretty drastic of how it can look. But if you just sort of like snip, 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 usually I think they just want to trim the ends a little bit. There's a bit of a, a method to it. There's a little bit more going on with like clippers and scissors and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's yeah. why I just feel like it's less riding on it. Yeah, that's fair. I it, this, There's a saying in this question, if it's a boy or a girl. Like they, well, they're they're girls. Long. They're, 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 they're dancing, yeah. right? Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah I think you're probably right, Tom. I feel like maybe because guys traditionally have less hair or maybe yeah. like if you make a mistake it really stands out whereas <laughs> girls kind of have a bit more to work with uh, generally yeah. if you've got long hair 
Um, in this situation, I think it's okay. I mean, it, like hair always grows back. Like the slate yeah. will always return at some point, right? So what do you got to yeah. lose? Exactly. Unless unless you're a dude that's going bald and you have like a comb over and then you shave that all off and then you're like, it's mm. never coming back. It's always going to come back. Like mm. hair does go back. And it, as far as the girls are concerned, you're right. You don't want to butcher it too much. And in, in our current situation, you probably can't go to the hairdresser to fix it. But I feel like it does grow back. You always you always can grow it back. I almost feel like I've missed the opportunity to shave my head. I should have done it at the start of this lockdown period. So that then by the time we're out of it, I'm like, it's, I'm just back to normal. And I just had a shaved head for that, for that time. Yeah. But it's now too late to make that decision. I think I've gone all in with, with what I'm currently doing. I'm just going to have to ride it until the end. <laughs> yeah. I think I've missed my window to shave it as well. Cause like some, someone I know is getting married in January or planning to. So I'm like, well, if uh-huh. I shave it now, is it going to grow in time? Is the wedding yeah. even going to happen? I don't know. I don't want to gamble <laughs> with my head and have like, ha- like you know, half, like a really <laughs> shitty like hairstyle grown. by the time the yeah. yeah by the time the wedding rolls around. So I've just left it. What are we sort of rounding up on this? Say, I feel, don't do it or yeah, do it. I, I feel like don't do it. I, I feel like if you're not comfortable with someone cutting your own hair, don't yeah. just say no. Look, I'm I'm sorry, but I just I don't want to do it. I mean, we're all talking about it in the sense of like whether we should or shouldn't. And we did like two of us didn't trust our partners to cut our hair. One of us did. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's one of those one ones three. where it's one in three. One in three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's one of those ones where I I feel like you don't trust them. Don't do it because if they fuck up your hair, you're never gonna trust them again. Like you're always gonna look at them <laughs> with that like. I've, you, you're a fucking bitch. You, you fucked did my that. hair up. Yeah, whether they intentionally did it or not, they did that. So, like, like yeah, I, I feel like if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. You should just say that. They'll understand. They should just invest in what we did. I mean, we're all wearing headpans because the hair getting in our face was just really affecting the advice we gave on the podcast. We just couldn't keep yeah. a straight head. So since yeah. we got the headbands, our advice has just improved. And Fair that's fault. surely you can you can wear a headband when you dance, right? Surely that's yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm sure everyone has noticed, like, that's why they're so good. The hair is not in their eyes. That's, that's why yes. they're, they're they see the clearly out there. Yeah, we can see I've clearly. Se- um, I've seen Black Swan, but all their hairs are tied up, like, like <laughs> tight. Like I'm pretty sure it's like the tightest you could ever get it, and that's what it is for ba- for ballet dancing, particularly. Um, okay, I yeah. think we should leave it there. What do you think? Is that good enough for Bevs with the with the friends? Bevs with the boys, yeah, that's good. Let's let's leave it there with some couple of Bevs, and let's leave it there for those couple of questions we had because that's all the time we have for the show. Uh, but great questions brought to the table as always, boys. I really do appreciate your efforts. Um, Thanks, have Tom. you made the most of this nice day today? Because we did have a bit of um, beautiful spring weather. Um, I no. had a beer outside. I had a beer outside. That's about it. That's all I did. Oh, Bev's with the friends, but Bev's on your own. That's still okay. Yeah, pretty much. And what, what about you, Tom? I did make sure I went out to the park, went for a run, and now it looks like it's turned a bit overcast. So, Damien, I think you were looking longingly out the window, but I don't know how nice it is where you are, but you might have missed the boat. <laughs> no, it's fine. Do you know why? Because tonight I'm actually trying a virtual escape room. I have no idea how oh, it's going to work. Wow. <laughs> and I guess these really these last nine months have been an escape room, so I don't know why I'm paying to do it, but <laughs> yeah. I would laugh so hard if Damien just somehow can't get out of the virtual escape room and like he dies inside his study or wherever he's he is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they they never let me out. <laughs> and he's just a oh, closet what the, or whatever it was. What yeah. these idiots don't realize is the easiest way to escape is just to click the big X in the top right corner. <laughs> I got out, idiots. I'm free. Yeah, right. I win. Nice. You got nice, my money though. Nice. Well, that's sounds like a fun time at least you're sort of um making the most of these adjusted programs that people are giving us for during the covid so glad to hear yeah, yeah exactly all right well that's all the time we have for the show though guys as i mentioned great questions were brought to the table if you want to get in touch with us you can email us at tqhpodcast at gmail.com if you've got a question of your own if you just want to say hi whatever it may be you can contact us there but as i said that's all the time we have for the show thank you to everyone out there for listening thank you of course to marcus thank you tom thank you to damien thank you boys And as we end every episode, stay curious. Thank you again for listening. If you want to get in touch with us and ask us a question of your own, you can email us at tqhpodcast at gmail.com. That email again, Tom. Is tqhpodcast at gmail.com. We're also on what, Marcus? We're on Twitter. We're also on Facebook. At tqhpodcast. You can find us there. And we are also on Damien. Wherever you can get a podcast, that is where the TQH Podcast is. Spotify, iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, you name it. We are on there. Mm. And if you head over to iTunes, rate, subscribe, and leave a review, that would be fantastic. Five stars if you think we deserve it. Thanks for listening. 